Right, so what he's telling us is we've got to go to M. Palavin to find this Primarch. Now, for those who are not aware of the Turian hierarchy, the Primarchs are like the leaders. They decide the military aspect and the people. So, if they're involved, they usually get the final say. So you see, the council does not have much say in Turian politics or how things go. It's usually the Primarch that does that. So basically what he has told us is that we need to find this Primarch, get him on our side, and he can, you know, vouch and, you know, throw a lot of weight. All right, let's deal with this reporter. Now, unfortunately, this reporter, guys, we've got to deal with her a lot. And to be honest, I don't want to, but we don't have a choice. Here we go. Kalisa Bentsin and Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? Yeah. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? What a bitch! I didn't run away, I was... I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want some? Oh yeah? Eat this. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <laughs> okay, I know what I did was very nasty, but come on. She's a journalist, she's a bitch, and she needed to be taught a lesson that you don't throw accusations like that without provocation. And plus the fact I didn't run away, I was ordered to go. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to beat up the, j the press? I mean, the amount of bullshit and lies they've spent over the years. I mean, look no further than what happened to last year's... Um, Presidential elections. Look at that. How much of that was spun and bullshitted? If you're wondering, yes, I'm British, I'm not American, but we in Britain kind of kept the tabs on what was going on in America. But anyway, let's get out of here. I'll probably get in trouble for that, but hey, it's my game, my rules. And let's be honest, she was a bitch. I mean, come on. The amount of bullshit she was throwing? I mean, come on. Like, we left and all that? I mean, come on. Like we had a choice. Hey, oh, what's this? I mean, be fair, guys. Did I want to leave? Hell no. I wanted to fight, but unfortunately I didn't have a choice because of, um, well, strenuous circumstances. And plus, I was ordered to leave. Hmm. What is this? Hey, isn't that a kid? Okay, oh, where the hell are we? Is this a vision or a dream? Okay, follow the kid. Ugh, where'd he go? There he is. You know, I hate this sequence. You know, these sequences that we're gonna get. I mean, we're gonna get a few of them, these sequences, I remember. But I just hate them. I was like, what is the point? Let's just get on with the story, not, you know, look at all this crud. Okay, we try to save the kid, and something bad will happen. He's burning. It's in the fine he died. Well, to be fair, you couldn't do anything about that. What happened to the kid? Reapers got him. Well. See what I mean, guys? A dream. Forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's mm -hmm. not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are yep. you all right? I've been better. What you call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Mm. They went back at Earth mostly, I would say. 
I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. Oh yeah, while this is going on, I don't condone violence on women. I do not condone it. No if anyone thinks home. that, I don't you condone it. Not in the slightest. And you'll get back there in time to Bloody hell, she absolutely she was just a right bitch. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm specialist. Oh hell. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Oh yeah. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R and D. Mm -hmm. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Ah, so the Normandy got retrofitted. Many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I Report, need officer. Functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Mm-hmm. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. Oh. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no Kind of makes sense. Option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. The only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer <laughs> that she remain. <laughs> got it, Edie. Well, Edie is... You gotta go with me, Edie. Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> nice one, Joker. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Oi, oi. Shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. All right, so that's a new command center. Map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Mm hmm. The war room. The war room a strategic command center for mission specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Yep. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> um, there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Alright. Now, that woman is one of the love interests you can do. And believe me, it's very hard to get her done. Oh, hello, Hacken. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. <laughs> we did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about oh, the I will. Device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. I'll do the best I can. The Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. We'll get it you done. Count it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll you damn right I'll make it happen. On your progress. Hack it out. Right. Now we got free reign of our ship. Wait, two of us renegade? Jesus Christ, I can't win. Right, so we'll look at the war terminal. So basically, this is our current military strength. It's at minimum, so... It needs a bit more punch. So it's got the core, we've got the divisions, 
We've got the Alliance fleet. We've got the Ops team. We've got the Fifth fleet. We've got... Ah, oh, here we go. Dana Ellis is an asset. She's going to help us build up our asset. The Normandy. So basically, guys, the more we get of assets, the better our strength is. So basically, guys, we have to make sure we can get as many people as we can. Right. Now we can go and talk to people. This is our pretty much like conference room. Now, this way. Yeah, we gotta go through this all the time because we gotta be scanned. In case we're like, you know, care for synthetics. Okay, we're in the main area. There's Taylor, we can talk to her. The first person we want to talk to is, um, oh, do you know what N7 Surplus Lab. I think I know who's in there. Sanctum. Joker, let's talk to you. Commander, you know, I had my doubts about the council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finding willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> you surprised? They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Mm -hmm. well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Commander. There ain't no more. Where's ED? I don't see it. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm not. She is a bit surprised actually doing something, but we've warned them for years. We've warned them for freaking years about this. Oh, a message. Okay. Private terminal. Message. Special ops. Attacking. Uh. Resentment over here. Mm hmm. Command Normandy. Yep. Traffic urgent. Flash. F okay. A new sniper rifle from Tassoni. Korean. Oh, hello. The Korean fleet. Are they, where are they, hein? Where's the Korean fleet? They've gone missing. All right, we're going to have to find them. Right, let's tell us about the coin feed being missing. Ops team upgrades are waiting. Oh, advanced combat training videos. You can watch them, guys, if you want to learn. But that's just what it is prime. So we're going to head to the crew deck. Now I know you're thinking, what am I doing? You guessed it. I'm going to be doing all these talking segments. I know a lot of you hate them, but... We've got to be done. If we're going to advance the story a bit on each of these characters, figure out why they're there and how they feel, we won't get their loyalties and we won't have the maximum effect. There's the death board of everyone that's died. There's Kelly Chambers. The funny thing is, guys, I just realized that, you know, you can save Kelly Chambers if we went early enough. You know, if I didn't go for Legion first, but since I went for Legion first, well... She paid the price. Right, let's have a look around, see what anyone's there. Ah, this is Fane's old quarters. Remember, we used to talk. Now, some of the characters from Mass Effect 2 will be there, but they will be in them. Um, in different capacities. Poker chips. Yeah, I think people want to play poker and have fun. You know, to, to de stress themselves from the, you know, the hell that's going on on Earth and. I can't say I blame them. There's the doctor's place. Let's talk to her. Hello, doctor. Commander. Everything okay down here, doctor? <laughs> the Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. <laughs> Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Oh, why? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Okay. Better safe than sorry. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. 
And your body has accepted the implant quite nicely. It'd have better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. Okay. Let's end with spice. The, med. the med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. <laughs> I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. So we have the doctor. Mm hmm. Okay, what's that?